On today's tech tip, we're going to show you actual testing on a vacuum actuated and a pressure actuated turbocharger wastegate. These wastegates are both normally closed and you want to apply vacuum to the vacuum actuated one while watching the rod to ensure that it moves its full range of motion and at the same time holds a vacuum. This is a properly working actuator and if you tested it on the vehicle that would pass. On a pressure actuated wastegate we have to switch the nipple on our vacuum side to our pressure side connect it to the pressure actuator and we're going to apply the same principle. We're going to apply pressure while watching the wastegate open and watching the rod move. We also want to make sure that it holds pressure so that the wastegate remains open on this normally closed wastegate. We also want to make sure that when we release the pressure the wastegate returns to its fully closed position. Hopefully that gives you a better understanding of how pressure and vacuum actuated wastegates work and allows you to perform testing on the vehicle before actually having to remove the turbocharger.